Hi, I'm Jordan. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kiddos, a five-year-old and a two-year-old, and another one is on the way, and we are a homeschool family. Every Monday I release a day in the life video, and every Thursday I release an additional video, usually about homeschool or the holidays. Today's video is going to be sharing with you our new unit study that we're going to be doing as a family this year. Before we get into it, please take a moment to like and subscribe. I am so excited to announce that this year our unit study is going to be the ocean. So last year I let my son pick um, a topic that he was really interested in and he chose bugs. And so last year we spent the whole year every morning learning about bugs. And as my daughter got a little bit bigger, she joined us in that bug time and it became a very special time for my family. So. We have absolutely loved that and we've decided to continue on with a morning unit study that we do as a family. And this year my son chose to learn about the ocean. We have decided to use as our base for our unit study, the ocean unit study from the Waldock Way. Everything else that we got to go with that is extras just to enhance the unit study. It could be done just with what they give you, but I think all the extra fun stuff helps to just really make this a very rich, engaging experience that can last through our whole year. I'm gonna take a moment now to walk you through all of the pieces that we have prepared already for our ocean unit study. More things may be added throughout the year, but this is what we have to get us started. The first thing that we have is a sensory bin. My husband took the time to dye the rice blue to kind of look like the ocean. We have the Playmobil uh, scuba diver set here. It came with like coral reef and fish and turtles and a little uh, treasure chest. We also have from Easter these cute little um, like sea creatures that you can see. And I think that there were um, several more that we already had that we might find and add to the basket. And then we have just some different things that they can play in the sensory bin with. These we had before when we did our bug unit, but the kids really like to play with um, the little scoops and things. Then we pulled aside this game that we have. My son got this for his birthday. Um, I believe right now it's on sale at Walmart for like $7, which is awesome, because um, it's a lot of fun and it really encourages hand-eye coordination. But this is a motorized piece. You turn it on, it moves around in a circle and the fish's mouths open and close. You have to use these little um, fishing rods to hook the fish and pull them out. And even my two-year-old enjoys playing this game. She really likes it and it's great for her um, practice as well with hand-eye coordination. This next game we got um, as a gift for the kiddos this past Christmas. I would not have originally thought to include this, but when I was going through the different subjects that are covered in this unit study, one of them is on seabirds and focuses specifically on penguins. So I thought this would be a good game to pull aside as well. It's called Don't Break the Ice. This is another one that both of my kiddos can play because it just involves kind of um, breaking through the ice with your little hammer, though my two-year-old is probably not as um, conscious of what she's supposed to do just yet. I think she'll get the hang of this really quickly. Another little game that we found that was penguin related was penguin bowling. Um, we've had this forever and I don't think we've ever played it, but it has little pins that look like penguins and a marble to kind of knock them down. Another classic game that we have that is more fish related is just Go Fish. It's a card game. We don't have the box anymore because my daughter ripped it apart, unfortunately. Um, but this was just in a pack of, I think, eight different games that you can get that are just like classic card games. And so this will be a fun one. One of the games that was included in the Waldock Way unit was this matching game of different shells with their names and descriptions. And um, we just printed this out on cardstock and laminated them. Another included game was a sorting game that again, we printed on cardstock and had laminated. Another game that they included was this trivia based game. It's got four different categories. It also came with a game board that we also have laminated so that you could like draw cards based on where you land um, in the different categories. We'll do that, but we'll also probably um, just look at this as we get to each of these different topics. The final included game that they had was 
Animal Ocean Bingo. Um, we have the different cards. All of this we printed on cardstock and laminated, and we like to play for like M&Ms and things, which is a lot of fun. Another activity that we got specifically with my two-year-old in mind for this study was this um, counting activity here. This was free on Teacher Pay Teacher. I just searched ocean and then set it to price ascending so it starts with all the free activities and a lot of those are meant for the younger kids which is perfect for us so with this kind of activity you would need a clothespin they would count and then they're supposed to pin the clothespin on the correct number so there's a bunch of these here with different sea animals another free activity that we got from teacher pay teachers with my two-year-old in mind was this uh shape matching uh, ocean themed uh, cards. We just printed these out on basic paper. I could have printed this out on cardstock too, though. I, now I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't. Um, but then should be able to match a shell with a crab. I think there's two sets of crabs. Yeah. Some with a yellow sandy background and some in just plain white. And then you could like match up the shapes together. This is something that I actually found at the Dollar Tree for just $1.25. These are um, flashcards for number and counting. And on the front of the card, you're gonna see the number. It's written out and it's also written as a number. And then on the back, it'll have different uh, sea creatures that go out to that number. We also got these sticker packs from the Dollar Tree. I really like these a lot. They kind of have like a, like a 3D kind of squishy quality to them. They have a little bit of a shine, like glitter to them. They're really pretty. Both these stickers and the number flashcards were actually part of the goodie bags that we had for my son's birthday because he was on, he's been on a big ocean kick. He chose ocean as what we were going to be studying, but he also chose that as the theme for his birthday party this year. This here was a gift from my sister to my son for his birthday. Um, this is um, you can find a bunch of these at Five and Below in different types. I really, really like them. We've done the human body one before and it was so much fun. Um, but what this is, is a jigsaw and book. The theme for this one is Explore the Ocean. You can see it has this big puzzle in it that's shaped like a shark with the, the background being all the different ocean creatures. But it also has a sticker book in it that is very informative and is gonna give us lots of fun facts. So this will be a fun addition to have with our basket. Here we have just a basic coloring book. We've had this for a minute. It has some activities in it, but I thought it would be a lot of fun to have something that my daughter could color in on days when maybe we don't necessarily have things for her to do, but it's baby shark. It's a lot of fun and it goes with our theme. This was in my daughter's Easter basket this year and right now she's still too little for it, but by the end of the year, I think she's really going to take to this really well. This um, has in it multiple different types of activities, tracing activities, things about shapes and letters and connect the dots. So like I said, right now she's too little, but by the end of the year when we're wrapping up this ocean unit, I think she's gonna really love this particular book. This was another thing that was in my son's um, goodie bags for his birthday party. These were from the Dollar Tree as well. These are paint by water sheets. And what we did for his party is we pulled the sheets out and put like a couple in each goodie bag. So we weren't giving every kid um, a whole book, but um, they're just, you just give them a cup of water and a paintbrush and then the color will fill in. And so there's a bunch of different ones for the different creatures. One of the things I saw online that I thought was really interesting was this Magic School Bus Rides Again Exploring Oceans Science Kit. So you can kind of see this has a bunch of different activities in here that are all like ocean based. And I thought that this would be a lot of fun um, for us to kind of get into some maybe experimentation and some hands-on activities that are gonna support what we're learning about with the ocean. One thing that my son is absolutely obsessed with is dig kits. Uh, we did this with the bug unit. We had a set where you could dig out, I think it was like three different um, bugs or and then there was like a, it was like a spider, a beetle, and I think a scorpion. And they had been like encased in a little plastic bead and you could see them. This one comes with several 
in here um, that he can, uh, you know, dig apart um, because he loves them so much and he asked for this specifically. So I went to find the ocean one. My son also really loves sticker books. So we got the Discovery Real Life Sticker Book Ocean. See, lots of stickers in it. And then it'll like give him the different, um, oh, there's more stickers too. Oh, nice. Uh, environments where he can put them in. We also got the DK Ocean Ultimate Sticker Book. And this one will show him where to put it and also it gives us lots of facts which is really cool and then also a third sticker book like i said he absolutely loves sticker books are one of his favorite things so we knew we had to include it in what we had here but we have the ocean animal sticker activity book so it's not just uh, a sticker book but it is an activity book as well and this is from national geographic and this is going to pair really nicely with what we're doing as well this is also a sticker book, but it is also like a Where's Waldo activity book, which is really cool. My son got this at Easter time as well. And I just think he's gonna love this because he really loves Where's Waldo. And you know, then it's also oceany, so it fits really well with what we're doing. We also have some books here that we have that were ocean that we, we set aside. These are gifts from people um, that we have gotten recently. We have Over and Under the Waves. We have another book that's in that same series, like Over and Under the Dirt, and we really like that one as well. And this is the book of The Little Mermaid by Jerry Pinkney. I think I've talked about this before, but I have a deep love <laughs> for Jerry Pinkney. Um, and I just... I'm very excited to read this with my kiddos. Um, both my son and daughter love mermaids, so I think they're gonna love this, and the artwork in this is just absolutely gorgeous. We also have this book here, I Am Brave, A Positive Power Story. I'm not sure if the whole thing is gonna be about the ocean, but it seems like at least a good bit of it is about water and surfing. We have this Wild Kratz book, Wild Sea Creatures, Sharks, Whales, and Dolphins, which is gonna go great with what we're doing. And for the first novel that we are going to read, because we like to include novels in our um, morning basket time, we're going to be reading The Great Shark Escape, The Magic School Bus. So this will be fun that we'll be able to read a Magic School Bus book and maybe do some Magic School Bus experiments as well. Then getting into our reference book, this happened to be a book that my husband owned as a kid um, that we still had, all about hermit crabs. So this is gonna be great when we get into like the crustacean portion of the unit study. We have here for our first reference material, Ocean Anatomy. Um, my stepmom had a bunch of these at her house for the different ones that this author has. And I was immediately like, this is beautiful. And so when we decided to do this study, I knew we just had to get this book. I'm so excited. We also got the big book of blue. We had checked out from the library, the big book of, I think, bugs. And it was another one of those where I was like, oh man, like this is gorgeous. I wish we had gotten this bug one. It was great to see it from the library, but I just wish we had it on our shelf. But now we got the one for the ocean. I just think that the illustrations in it are absolutely gorgeous. On the same vein, we got the Oceanarium. We had gotten the, I wanna say it's called like the Anatotinarium. <laughs> I'm saying it wrong. But the version of this book that's all about the human body we had gotten from the library. And my son actually has checked it out more than once because he likes it so much. And so I thought, well, if they have one of those for our ocean study, we should definitely get it. And we did. And I just think that this is, oh, so gorgeous. We really love the illustrations in the other books, but we think it's important to see um, like photographs as well. So we got this DK Smithsonian Ocean Visual Encyclopedia, and it really does have some gorgeous pictures in it um, that I know are just gonna be super captivating to my kiddos. And our final reference book here is our National Geographic Kids Ultimate Oceanpedia. This is another one that is full of actual photographs. 
So it's gonna be a really nice blend, I think, of like really nice illustrations and high quality photography. This is going to be the binder that we have for uh, the actual unit study we got from the Waldock Way. In it, we've printed out all the things that they've included. It always has these like anatomy breakdowns and additional resources and uh, texts that they have that are nonfiction with discussion questions, which I absolutely love. It also came with um, different pattern block patterns of different ocean animals. This was the game I was talking about before that we printed out on cardstock and had laminated. And then we also printed on cardstock and laminated all of the Play-Doh mats that it came with um, that I know my kiddos are going to enjoy. The final things that I have here is two full file folders of activities. Some of these activities came from the Waldock Way as like things that you could do with your kiddo. And some of these were free off of Teacher Pay Teachers. I've just printed out a whole bunch to have for us to do together as we are going through everything. But I have a nice mix of like, um, like, pictures to color and like push pin things to do. And then there are also things like color by number or color by sight word, which is gonna be good for my kiddo. Tracing activities, but lots of fun different things that I have uh, gotten here for us to do together. All right, and here is everything for our ocean study that we're about to start. And this is going to be our morning time basket, our unit study. We are so excited. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you wanna see more videos from me, subscribe. Have a great day, bye-bye.